Okay, hello students. Once again, let us uh, resume our explanation of chapter one. And the chapter was the tale of Peter Rabbit. The tale of Peter Rabbit was a very simple and beautiful story that we uh, read yesterday. It was half done. Now let us recall it. What we had seen yesterday, how the story progressed. To recall, four little rabbits were there. Four little rabbits: Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Their mother told them that they could go into the fields or down the lane, but restricted them from entering into. Mr. McGregor Gregor's garden. Mr. McGregor's garden. Mother had strictly told them not to enter into Mr. McGregor's garden. However, Peter. We saw Peter was a very naughty and mischievous uh, of the four rabbits. So Peter did not listen uh, to what the mother said. He disobeyed and entered into Mr. McGregor's garden. Now he entered into the garden. After moving a little bit in the garden, after eating uh, some radishes, some French beans, and uh, lettuces, then he saw McGregor, and now he wanted to run. But he could not find the way back. So Peter could not find the gate, the gate to come out of the garden. Then he was chased uh, by Miss Mr. McGregor. He ran and ran and was uh, followed by McGregor. Finally, McGregor was tired and he entered into work again. Now, still, Peter was looking for a place to come out or a particular opening so that he can come out of the uh, garden. Now, let us resume our story after that. Now, let us see. He, he found a door in a wall, but it was locked, and there was no room. For a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. That means he was looking for an opening from where he can come out of the garden. So finally he found a door, but underneath that there was very less space underneath, under the door, below the door, less space. He cannot squeeze himself out. Squeeze means uh, to shrink in size or to re reduce, reduce in size, so he could not make himself small enough to to pass through that uh, space which was below the door. Now, an old mouse was running in and out over the stone door step. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. He went back towards the uh, tool set, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe. Screech, scratch, scratch, screech. Now, the hope, he, he went back towards the tool set, but suddenly quite close to him again he heard some sound and that was the sound of a hoe. Now what is a hoe? Hoe is a garden tool, a garden tool to pull out wild plants and to remove large pieces from the soil, large pieces of mud or whatever wild plants are there to pull them. You have a garden tool that is screen, uh, that is called hoe. So that was 
being used by someone that is what peter heard the sound of a hoe the sound is mentioned here is screech scratch scratch screech now the first thing he saw was mr macgregor hoeing onions his back was turned towards peter and beyond him was the gate now as he looked he saw the owner of the garden mr macgregor now he was busy in his work he was hoeing with the hoe he was doing the work hoeing the onions and his back was towards peter now peter saw behind him was the gate now peter started running as fast as he could go he slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the wood outside the garden the small uh, forested area is called a wood the woods so outside the garden there were some trees so then peter ran as fast as he could from the garden and slipped out of the gate underneath the gate there was some space from there he could uh, make his way out and then he didn't turn back to look what was happening behind him he ran and ran and ran finally reached his home peter never stopped running or look behind him till he got home he was so tired that he plopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes his mother was busy cooking okay now he is home he was very tired he had a great day that day full of miseries unfortunes so then as soon as he is home he flopped in the soft sand flopped is the past tense of flop now to flop means to fall so flopped fell he fell in the sand in the soft sand finally he was relaxed he has reached his home and he uh, shut his eyes his mother was busy cooking she wondered wondered means done with his clothes because his clothes looked rather dirty peter was not very well during the evening peter felt somewhat like sick during the evening his mother put his uh, put him to bed and made some chamomile now chamomile is a type of dried flower used for making tea it is a type of used for making tea that is chamomile so made some chamomile tea and gave a dose of it to peter because from ancient times from centuries chamomile tea is taken by people and it is believed to have some uh, benefits for our health some health benefits in the chamomile tea now seeing peter sick mother prepared chamomile tea and gave him a dose of it but flopsy mopsy and cotton tail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper now the evening meal is called the supper so s u w p e r supper now flopsy mopsy and cotton tail the three of them were having a good time eating their good meal bread milk and blackberries however their brother peter who was rather naughty he only had to take a dose of medicine in the form of chamomile tea so finally finally the the moral of the story is that you should be obedient and listen to our elders if you listen to elders you will be happy all the time 
If you don't listen, then you will face problems all the time. Thank you.